What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today we're back with some more Destiny 2 and news. So today we got some more information on upcoming stuff, upcoming updates, and what we can expect to see in the next weeks or so. Uh, but this week we got the launch of the Dawning, that is the winter themed event for this season. And it's going to last for around 3 weeks, so there's a lot of new stuff to do, a lot of new triumphs to earn, a lot of new stuff to earn within it, as well as cosmetic items like usual. Um, so basically the overall thing for this year's dawning is that Eva Levante is finally back and with her she brought her oven. So we use her oven to bake goods, bake cookies, all that kind of stuff. And give it to other NPCs around the world or the solar system. So a uh, pretty unique stuff. And you can even earn some powerful gear drops from doing this as well during the dawning event. So if you're still trying to level up your power level... Uh, this is another way that you can get some sources of powerful gear as well. So pretty good stuff, pretty unique. And again, you can only earn some of these exclusive items from this event. So when it's gone, that's when all the items that you can earn will be gone as well. But anyways, let's get into some upcoming stuff. So this week we got Mayhem, the return of Mayhem finally. Uh, Mayhem is a lot of fun if you haven't tried it out yet. It's a lot of fun if you're new to the game. It's basically where all your supers and your cooldowns recharge a lot quicker and uh, basically you can just spam supers all the time so it's a bunch of fun I suggest trying it out the only thing is that you may run into a lot of blade barrage hunters um, especially if they're using shards of Galanor it can get a little bit annoying um, but it's still a pretty fun uh, game mode so that's gonna last two full weeks up until December 25th or Christmas Day um, and that is when it's going to go away on that weekly reset. And then on December 25th on that weekly reset, that is when Iron Banner will return for Season 5. And it's going to be for that one week. And during that week, we're going to have increased Valor as well. So we're going to have double Valor and then triple Valor toward the end of that week. And also we're going to have some new armor as well as a couple Year 1 weapons returning with random rolls for this season of Iron Banner. So this is what the armor looks like. It looks pretty unique. It looks a little bit different. Um, but there's going to be some new stuff to earn, obviously some more triumphs and stuff associated with Iron Banner as well. Uh, so we got a bunch of new stuff with Iron Banner. Again, that's a couple weeks from now, not next week, but the week after that. And then the week that Iron Banner comes back, I believe, will be the last week of the Dawning event. So that's the last time you can get some Dawning exclusive items. But anyways, there's also some other uh, previews of patches coming. So we're getting a patch next week that gives players under 600 power and more higher powered rewards from the Director Challenges. So we can level up a lot quicker. I know that was an issue going into Black Armor that some people were lower than 600 and they couldn't even do some of the new stuff like the forges and all that kind of stuff because they were way too low and the progression system was still a little bit slower for those players so it took them a lot longer to hit those higher power levels and be able to even do some of the black armory content. They're also addressing the issue for weapon frames where it could be removed from your inventory when you complete a different forge. So uh, try not to carry more than one weapon frame at a time and try to do the one uh, for that specific forge. Don't do the other forge when you have a weapon frame for like the Gofanon forge. Don't do the uh, Volunder forge activity. Um, you should always focus on the weapon frame that you currently have because there's a little bit of bugs and stuff with it at the moment until they finally fix it in the next patch so that's a recommendation and then finally for players who played Destiny 2 Forsaken before October 16th will finally earn their Veterans of the Hunt bundle that was promised a long time ago back in October so we're finally going to receive it in the next update so be on the lookout for that if you were eligible to earn that bundle but anyways that's about it for this video thank you guys for for watching as always like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace